This video is sponsored by Espresso Displays. This is the Espresso Display 15, a sleek portable monitor with features to help with workflow efficiency and a design that's made for portability and convenience. It's a 15.6 inch 1080p monitor that's only 0.2 inches thin and weighs 1.7 pounds. It features an aluminium lightweight design that's incredibly minimal. So minimal that there's only two USB-C ports for connectivity with nothing else around a monitor, no other physical buttons. I haven't seen a design like this in any other portable monitor, which is cool to see because I love minimalistic design. For a portable monitor, it certainly has a premium quality about it. When you pick it up, it feels good and it kind of feels like you're holding a tablet. The only thing I'm not a fan of is the chin on the front. Personally, I would have loved to just see the screen with no bottom bezel. It's noticeable when you have the screen in a portrait orientation, but I would imagine most people would use it in landscape mode anyway. The monitor does come with a stand, one that you can place behind the laptop just so that it is peeking over the laptop's display. I can see why the chin design element doesn't matter as much as it's covered by the laptop screen anyway, making the overall setup neat and compact. When unboxing the monitor, the stand is already cleverly attached to the magnetic back of the display. The packaging for the monitor itself is surprisingly slim. The design of the stand is really unique. It's something I haven't seen before. It starts off flat. You can open it up to have it sitting at this height, which you can move back and forth, tilt up and down. But if you want to have the monitor higher, you can extend it by opening it up further so you can stand it like this. This height goes well with a laptop placed just underneath it. Placement of the dual display setup works well, as flowing between the two monitors feel natural. Also, check out how strong this magnet is. I can't even shake this thing off. The magnet isn't so strong around the edges of the monitor, but in the middle, it's super strong. What impressed me the most is that the monitor can connect via a single USB-C cable to a device without limitations. Every single portable monitor I've reviewed always had a power limit. Most of them wouldn't go beyond 10 to 40% brightness, or if the volume went too loud, the monitor would just turn off, all because there wasn't enough power. And to go beyond those limits, those monitors would normally require a second source of power via a second USB-C port while using a power adapter. But with this monitor, I can use a single cable. I can go to 100% brightness without any issues and have both the laptop and monitor at 100%. To push it further, I can have the volume at max level on the MacBook Pro, and everything is working perfectly. If you know how to build one, it actually becomes easy and enjoyable. In this video, I'll show you how to build a PC, more specifically, a tiny PC. Obviously, if you are doing this for a long period, it will drain the laptop's battery. But the fact that you can do all of this without any connection issues on the go and not having to plug any of the devices into a wall socket is really useful to have. Here are the different brightness levels of the Espresso Display 15 compared to a MacBook Pro 16 M1 Pro. At 100%, the Espresso Display 15 is almost as bright as the MacBook Pro. Anything lower than 90%, the Espresso Display appears to be brighter. Viewing angles are what you'd expect, from low brightness at tight angles to nice and bright directly on. When it comes to colors, it comes close to matching my MacBook Pro display, which I tend to use for reference when creating video content. If you look carefully, in some clips, the Espresso Display does have a red tint compared to the MacBook Pro display. Something to bear in mind if you require 100% color accuracy. However, the overall colors are great. They are accurate enough for productivity and content creation like making videos on YouTube or so. So there are a few layouts you could use this monitor, connected to a laptop side by side with a choice of different heights or my favorite layout just above the laptop. It's something that other portable monitors don't do for some reason. A portable display that includes a foldable stand that could be used to elevate the monitor over a laptop display is such a simple idea. One, it's a natural way of working in terms of workflow. Two, it's a good height to view and good for your neck. Three, it's ideal for space saving and a fantastic compact solution. But if you want to use the display in a portrait orientation, you can just simply rotate the display and the desktop will automatically change to the correct orientation, which would be a good way to work with code, spreadsheets, and reading long articles. The monitor doesn't require any software to work. You simply plug and play. But I would recommend downloading Espresso Display's software as it opens up a whole load of useful features. 
For instance, when you connect the Espresso display and have Glide enabled, you can move the cursor between both displays and the app will detect the monitor layout and correct it. The software also allows you to control the monitor's settings, like the screen brightness, color profiles, and display orientation. Hence why there is no need for physical buttons on the actual monitor. My favorite thing, however, has got to be the feature called Workspace. You can set up custom layouts of apps and web pages on both screens to fit a specific workflow. All you have to do is click on a saved workspace and boom, everything loads up. The apps and the web pages is in the layout you want. This is great if you want to save time and have specific layouts needed for different things. Here is how you set up a workspace. It's super quick and easy. Add a new workspace, add an app you want to use, add a website you want to open up, set the layout for each screen. So for the laptop, I want one window. There is a choice of multiple layouts. For the Espresso display, I only need one window as well. I'll call this workspace learning video editing and tag it as work. Drag the app on the display I want and then drag the website link on the other screen and save it. Then click on the workspace and boom, and it will load up. And just like that, you can get straight to work. I've created so many workspaces and I just love how seamless it is when they load up. Another good time saver is a feature called Snap. Using keyboard shortcuts, you can quickly snap apps and windows into place on your desktop. A great way to be efficient with your workflow. The monitor is pretty much compatible with any device that features a USB-C port for display output, but do check on Espresso Display's website for compatibility. The fact that I can just plug in this Android device and whack it on max brightness is so cool. It's crazy how the monitor is powered by this tiny device. This comes in handy for when I want to watch something on a bigger screen, one that I can carry around. Just bear in mind the Espresso Display 15 doesn't have any built-in speakers, so the sound would have to come from a device or wireless earphones. Gaming on this display is decent for a 60Hz monitor. If it's just casual, non-competitive gaming, then I could recommend it for that. The colors are certainly good enough for games. In terms of portability and setup, it's quick and easy to pack away. You can pop it into a protective cover, like this one that's sold separately, and comfortably pop it into a small backpack. The whole setup is super light to travel with. A really convenient setup for sure. That's the Espresso Display 15. If you want more info, I'll leave a link in the video description below. Thanks for watching.